So you found a niche you have created, the interior you have created the covers or several covers, and now it's time to find keywords to use in the back end and in your title. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, and this method is absolutely free. You don't need any tools at all. Many people believe that you need to pay for tools in order to find profitable keywords, but that is not always the case, as you have seen in this video. So personally, I do use tools such as MetaWord or Publisher Rocket, but that is only to make the process easier and to save time. And when you are starting off, it's often difficult for you to pay for the keys. Sometimes you don't have too much of money to pay for them. So in this case, I will teach you free method so that you save as much money so that later you can purchase the tools. And with this free method, you will get the same results as using any tools. The only difference is that it's going to take you more time to find this keyword. So I personally use this method when I started. So when I get money, when I get a lot of royalties, I also invest into other tools. So listen very well. Okay. So look at the method I'm going to show you now. First of all, you go to your... In order to use this method, I think you need uh, AM set uh, suggestion expander, whereby you will get long tip keywords. So, and the tool is absolutely free. So, this is how to start. You need AM set expander. So you can get, you can get that from on your extension so that tool is free so you can get that from your chrome extension if you are not using laptop if you have to download kiwi browser so when you download kiwi browser you need to search for it on google google search box you can type am said search expander so it will bring it for you so you will now add it to your kiwi extension so you add it to your kiwi extension so just install it me i've installed it i've installed it already so if you don't have it installed make sure you add it to your chrome or browser or kiwi so once you have installed it all you have to do is you search for the niche you are publishing in this case let's use a mood tracker journal as an example so i'll type mood tracker journal as you can see it provides a lot of keywords and you can use the keywords in your back end or title so now i'm going to show you how to find and validate these keywords so as you can see i've typed mood tracker journal and this all the book i can see and I, I want to use this as starting point to find profitable keywords. So what you need to do is that you will find potential keywords you can use. As you can see, the word mood tracking journal. So let's go and type mood tracking journal. You can use mood tracker or tracking journal. So when I type mood tracker, you see all these keywords that came. So once I type mood tracker journal, you see what I can see on my screen. So what I'm going to do right now is to gather like 12 or 10 um, potential keywords that I will use for my book. And I'm going to exploit those keywords further and decide the one that I'm going to use in my book. So I'm going to jot down some of these keywords so that I will use them in my back end. And the first one I'm I'm going to jot down is with this um tracker journal 2022 so i will jot down i'll use that one i'll jot down in my um spreadsheet here so i will jot it down okay what i'm typing at my at my left hand here is what i call long tail skid world and uh, one i will show at this left side is what i call single keyword because the reason is because if i put this mood tracker journal in my seven back end box if people search for it in 2023 they will not see it but if i put this 2023 in my books there is a probability that when even when people search for it in 2023 my book will still show 
So I will go back to that expander. I will, I think I said another one, mood tracker journal for women. So this mood tracker coloring book, I will not pick that one because my book is not coloring book. So if I pick it, I'm just wasting um, the, the, the potential of my book. So I will pick the one that is for women. So I have mood tracker journal for women. I have mood tracker journal for, the, for teens. So I will go there again. Maybe I can see something. So I will do all this daily chat, book, adults, girls, um, Ashanti, uh, um, all these parents. I will use them as my single word. So I will put them down in my single box here. All these daily, everything. I will put them down in my single words here, things and so on. These are the single keywords that I call them single keywords. Because once I've put the long key keywords key, key there, so all these single, single keywords, I will just join it together. So another I want to get it, another method is that I will come to all this book here and I will I will pick from there. So I will pick mental um mental health. So mental health here, you see mental health journal for men. I will pick that one. You can see mental health for adult. So let me pick mental health for men. I see mental health for what is that? Men, gift, gift. I will use this gift as my single single keyword. Because sometimes people will type gift. So I will use gift as my single keywords. So once again, I will go back to the search page. I will look for another keyword. I think I can see wellness journal. Wellness journal. I will go back to the boss. I will type wellness. Wellness journal. Journal. You can see that wellness journal for women. Wellness journals 2022. Journal journals for men. So I'm going to grab this. And put it here too. Wellness journal for women and men so so all what i need here is to find uh, maybe like 10 or 15 keywords so i will put them together here before i will do the final um the final finalization i mean the final method to know the one i'm going to use in the back end box so another one i see is emotional so emotional i'll take this emotional i'll come here i'll type emotional emotional so so i think i see emotional journal for kids so emotional journal for women emotional journal for adults so i'll put women kids adults as my single keyword so emotional journal women emotional journal for adults i'll put them as my long tails so i'll come again can i see another things okay girls teens adults so that will be my singles Since the mood tracker can also be used for boys, I will type boys too. And then I think I have typed adult. So let me put adult notebook, tracker, journal, diary, because all these things they can be used interchangeably. So so I think I have many singular keywords now. So what I will do now is to validate all of these keywords. Am I going to validate all of these keywords? The reason why I want to validate all these 12 keywords is that i want to be sure i think there are 10 i want to be sure maybe they are have or they have relation with what i'm creating if they are not related it's not good at all so i uh, will copy all these keywords and put them into my tab so another reason i want to find it is that so that we know how competitive they are so in my own opinion any competition that is less than five thousand is good is good is good is good for me any competition that is less than five thousand is good so as i have 10 keywords here me i will open 10 tabs so i'll open 10 tabs and copy each keyword into each tab so that to validate their usefulness so once we have done that i will go to the box one i can see wow this one the competition is low and is yes and it's displaying relevant books so the competition is 702 there's 702 searches so what i'm going to do is to go back and then let me let me let me name this one as green so green just means that there is high potential of me using this keyword so if i use orange that one is probability so if i use red that one means i'm not going to use it so let me go and check the second box oh this one is 20,000. 20, yes 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 it's showing relevant books so i'm going to give this one orange 
because it's showing relevant books it's showing books that are related to my book so let's go to the next tab this one is ten thousand there are eyes okay no 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 it's displaying relevant books so i'm not going to use it i'll put red for this one i'll put red okay let me put orange okay so i will do all of this screen watch i will do everything and once i've done to all i've done with all this one so i will choose the green and the orange one so i will set everything right now so, so after that what i will do is that i will expand this and i will fill all these seven keywords with the single other single keywords i will just look i will just pick the one i will use then i will use all these single keywords at the end of my long tilt keyword so that is how it should be so there are a lot of repetition in these keywords so some people some people might say that it is not good to be repeating um it's not good to be to be to be using repetition in your seven keywords some people will say is good but for me this is what i would teach you can try another method but this method really works for me because this book is one of my best selling books so you i i, I repeat some of the long take keywords but my back end the single word at the back end is different is different is different as you can see so this is how it's going to look in my seven boxes you can see my long tails keyword come first and the singular keywords come at the back so about choosing your title just just get any attractable um keywords that you think it can catch the attention of people and make that one as your type two and make sure your subtitle also is 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 it give details about what you're going to give to people so that is how to look for the profitable keywords thank you very much